Hi everyone, it's Hannah Ross. Welcome to my channel. This is a say it with me, what's in my bag video. Is there a more classic video to do on YouTube? I don't think so, but this one has a twist because I am a minimalist. I'm a minimalist gal living in a minimalist world, so I have a minimalist version of what's in my bag. In some senses, this might surprise people because I feel like I've got a little bit of a Mary Poppins bag, you know, the one that never ends, or a Hermione Granger bag that has that extendable charm in the seventh movie or book. I feel like I have everything packed into this bag that I could possibly need for any emergency. So it might shock you guys a little bit to see what is in there, but it is extremely organized, still very curated. I don't have any junk. Oops, spoiler alert. Yeah, no junk, no receipts flying around. It is streamlined, but I wanted to do this video because it's something that isn't just empty. I have a lot going on in my purse and I've taken a long time to try to organize it properly and in the way that best suits me and my lifestyle. So before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, uh, should we talk about the purses? I adore these purses and I say purses, I'm just spoiler alerts everywhere. I have two, I have two bags. I have a light bag and a dark bag. They are the exact same bag. I'm gonna show you both of them. They are, drum roll please, da -da 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 -da. Matt and Nat vegan leather crossbody bags. To me, it's just the most versatile bag you could possibly imagine. It has so many different compartments to fit things. It's not too big, it's not too small. It probably looks a little bit bigger on camera, um, but it's a great size. It fits comfortably over the shoulder. It can fit enough without feeling too big that I'm almost carrying a tote bag. It is a really, really great size for me. So I love it. And I would link this for you guys, but there is no way it's still available. I bought this bag, both of these bags. My memory's really bad, but maybe five or seven years ago, they're really, really old. But I would suggest going on to matinat.com.ca, wherever you are, and finding a suitable alternative because they have so many styles and they're constantly rotating, but they have a really minimalist brand. I actually love Matinat. Every purse I've ever owned since becoming a minimalist has been from them. And yeah, they just have really sleek designs and their bags last forever. So this is my current go-to right now. It is the taupey kind of color, maybe a bit of an oatmeal. And then the second bag I have is the black version. Who is surprised that black goes with everything and I absolutely adore this bag. Right now, it is not stuffed to the brim. It is not the one with my things in it. It's the beige one. So I'm gonna go through that oatmeal-y, taupey one first and show you guys everything that is in my minimalist bag. Okay, this is just way too much fun. I'm already having a blast. So the front pouch here, it's just a little magnetic guy. That is where I pop in my very old but still functioning cell phone. So I will just tuck that right in the front. So that one is completely empty. Next up, first zipper. So in here, all right. I just have some reusable bags. I have two of them. These ones are the ones that fold into themselves and they're from Ikea. These are self-explanatory, but if I don't have these on my person, I am never going to remember to use reusable bags. If they're in my car, if they're at the door, if they're anywhere else other than in my purse, I'm going to forget them. I have found over the years that I use these constantly. You never know when you're going to need a reusable bag. And I actually have two because I find if I go to the grocery store and do a grocery haul, I'm going to need two. So I've decided to keep two at minimum in here. And that seems to be the perfect sweet spot for me. All right, first case closed. Second, this middle portion, okay? This has a lot of goods in it. Can we chat first about what's in this secret pocket? I never used to have anything in that pocket. Now, ooh, I have a pack of gum. <laughs> 
not that exciting, but uh, absolutely necessary for me. I love having gum to chew and I can't have like 99% of gums for a dietary reason. So I have to have like special gum. Uh, therefore, I'm always relying on myself to have this gum on me. So I keep my very special, this is Simply Gum in Peppermint. I keep my very special gum in the middle portion of my bag. Next up, this, this is the powerhouse. This is what holds everything that I could possibly need and more. This tiny little Mac bag. I have everything in here and I will pull out some of the items. I've got an eye condition, so I have a little Visine. I have all my medication that I could need, including stuff if I get a migraine and if I'm having an allergic reaction. I also have some of my husband's medication just in case. So medication is a must for me. And then I have Vaseline. So to me, this is a really multi-purpose product. This is typically going to go on my lips. I find sometimes during the day I can get chapped lips. And if I do not have lip chap around, ooh, I am going to turn into Angry Hannah. And Angry Hannah's no fun. We don't like her. So I just carry around some Vaseline. It's also kind of a multi-purpose product. So if I'm dry somewhere, like on my elbow or something, I can put a little bit of Vaseline on there. It's just a great thing to have in my bag and I use it very frequently on the go. Next up is a new addition since I met my husband, and it is a Tide to Go pen. I'm a pretty neat person and I don't spill too often. Yeah, my husband is kind of the opposite of that. So I decided to carry this around. And you know, in his defense, I think I've actually used this more than he has. So I'm really, really happy that it's now part of my staple bag. And I'm always going to keep one of these on hand from here on in. Next up, we have some hair accessories, some hair clips some hair ties. I am a person that if I feel like my hair is getting sticky and I just need it out of my face, I need a hair elastic. Like I just can't explain it. I desperately need a hair elastic on me. So I have a few extra hair accessories in case of an emergency. And then other than that, I have some feminine hygiene products, which is pretty self-explanatory that I'm not going to show on camera, but that is my little bag of magic and wonder it has everything you need in a pinch and more. And I love keeping this all in one spot. That way I don't have things flailing around at the bottom of my bag and I'm scrounging to look for that, you know, one hair elastic. I know it's in here. I've always had it in here and it's in the same spot every single time. And then the only other thing in my bag is in boop, the last zipped section, and that is my wallet. So you might notice that the wallet perfectly matches the bag. That was on purpose. I wanted to make sure that they would go perfectly together, and I really like a monochromatic look. So wallet, same color as the bag. Now, this wallet, obviously also from Matt and Nash, I don't have enough good things to say about this wallet. I am extremely particular when it comes to wallets. Uh, that is because, again, I need this piece to be versatile. So there are some instances where I don't want to carry around a purse or a bag and I need something that is smaller and lighter, more like a clutch. To me, I'm always thinking about a wedding. I don't want to bring a purse or a bag to a wedding. So the wallet that I selected had to also act as a clutch and be nice enough, minimal enough, chic enough, stylish enough to be able to wear in and of itself. And so the next thing I am really particular about is I need a decent amount of card slots. I don't need too many because I don't have too many cards, but I need a, a fair amount, about eight. And then I also really like a spot for bills 
and I like a zipper. No, I need a zipper. And this wallet here delivers. Okay, the card slots are up top. I don't want to give away any of my personal information on the internet, go figure. So I am going to hide those, but there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, eight slots. Just like I said, so there are eight slots here. If I were to have checks, they would go right under. And there's even another section under here if I wanted to store something. But the bottom, the bottom is where it's at. Okay, so we have the spot for bills right in front. And then I also have a zippered portion, which is essential for me. I keep things like my car insurance zipped. I will keep coins zipped. I will keep things of a high monetary value zipped. Um, so I just need to have that zipper portion so I know that things aren't gonna be falling out of my wallet. So right now I actually have a lot of coins and a really beautiful beautiful wedding gift that we got from some family members, but it's worth a little bit more. So I don't want to have it up top in these card slots. So I just tuck it into the zipper and there we go. So that is my wallet. And now talking about cards in a more general sense, I'm sure I'll touch base on this more in a future video, but I don't keep any points cards or rewards cards in my wallet. I only have three rewards cards. They are all on my phone in the wallet. That is what makes sense to me. I don't like carrying around extra physical cards if I don't have to. And even though they're digital, I've really tried to minimize those as well to just what I was using. All right, and then second up, I just have the exact same bag in black, like I mentioned. This is also matte and matte and I love it just as much. In fact, I use the black one a lot more than the beige one, but I'm trying to give the beige some love right now. So I am mixing it up and I am using the beige as my primary bag right now. As for the black, yeah, you know, the hardware is going a little bit. I've had this thing for like seven years, um, but it still works perfectly fine. I absolutely am not getting rid of it anytime soon. I love this bag and it is completely empty as the bag that I am not using right now. That is a key minimalist tip for me at least. Have things that are so easy to take out of your purse that it makes the transferal process a cinch. So the only thing that I have in here, which is not going to surprise a single one of you, <laughs> is the matching black wallet, come on. And this black one is in fact completely empty. It is also a little worse for wear, um, but again, I'm not getting rid of it anytime soon. And I do think this one looks really, really great as a clutch too. So that is my entire collection. Am I gonna take anything else out with me? Probably not. Sometimes I'll take my AirPods, I'll just pop them in the middle section. Sometimes I'll take a lip liner, lip gloss, I'll just pop it in the middle section. It's kind of the one with the most space. So anything additional that I'm taking, I'll probably just like stuff in there. Sometimes I even put my sunglasses in there. I even have a foldable jacket that I can fit in here. It's kind of my catch-all. So that is my minimalist what's in my bag edition. I love filming every video for you guys, but this one has been the most fun thus far because it just feels so nostalgic. And I've been watching YouTube for maybe 10 years, something like that. And I've seen so many what's in my bag videos and yeah, it's just kind of a full circle moment for me. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like this video, give it a like. If you like me and my content in general, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.